A couple more details on outdoor decks. One of the details you see here is that we try to overlap and it allows us to build things like this that are cantilevered and you can cantilever this out just a little bit further. And one of the good things that we can do is we can build this structure of this handrail into here and keep it really secure and everything can overlap it. And you put your trims, then your decking over it. It's nice when this doesn't hit and butt into another board. Sometimes you have to on stairs. Anytime you can leave this open, it breathes better and it doesn't absorb moisture. Even composite decking absorbs a little bit of moisture. So it's gonna increase the life of it if it can free span and all the moisture can come right off. Another detail is, is how we put this only on the top. If you do it like the way a lot of people do it, they use the treated lumber, which is hidden below, and they run it right up through it, but then it leaves to posts that are twisting and splitting and really takes away from the good looks of the deck. So having a different decorative material on top and extremely fastening this to where it is, it is as strong as you'll ever need is actually ends up increasing the life of the deck. This is the weak point in many, many decks and the way that they build their handrails all the way from the ground, all the way through, and it twists and warps and looks really, really bad soon. It only takes a year or two for that to start happening, and you can't stain it and make it look like finished materials like this cedar is. Another detail in outdoor living decks is how you do skirting. Most people really don't want to have critters getting under their decks, and neither do our clients, so we offer a skirting, but rather than using a, using a lattice material or doing it in siding, there's some disadvantages to that, which is it won't breathe. If you use the lattice, little things can get in there, and it, it gets torn up quite easily by your weed eaters and your lawnmowers and so forth. So rather than using a cedar lattice or a, even worse, a treated yellow pine lattice that's stained, you're gonna find that it doesn't hold up. It really shortens the life of it. One of the best products we've found for skirting is a vertical one by six. You can use regular fencing materials, cedar fencing materials, and that really works good because cedar is water resistant, decay resistant, insect resistant naturally. And then you leave enough gaps in there so that it actually breathes. The deck will breathe and actually allow more air to come in and come out through the deck boards. You do not want to trap moisture under there because that's where mosquitoes will breed. As well as uh, it can cause problems with your decking materials. So you want it to breathe, but you don't want to get anything in there. So you, let, you, you leave a little spacing with your cedar and it will last the life of the deck because it can breathe easily. You never want to paint cedar. You can stain it, but use a stain that has an oil-based product on it because it will allow it to keep on breathing and not seal the moisture in. Stains and stuff like that, that that are just paints, they actually seal the moisture in it and accelerates the rot. So use cedar wherever you can or other outdoor lumber that looks decorative and you'll be a lot better off.